The Palm Springs has said yes to new rules that impact medical marijuana collectives that are not licensed by the city itself. KMIR 6's Angela Monroe has more on what it means to the many co ops that don't have a city permit. Organic Solutions of the Desert is one of only three medical marijuana collectives licensed by the city of Palm Springs. If the unlicensed shops are to be open, I believe they should be made to meet the same requirements as the licensed facilities. I think the playing field should be even for all shops. The collective's president says to be permitted, they had to spend a lot of money and meet all city and police requirements. Just for one, take a 70-year-old building and bring it up to code, uh, uh, sprinkler systems, elaborate security. Police are here constantly checking to make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. But people with other unlicensed collectives say the fines could close their doors, hurting the patients. I'm a progressive MS patient that cannot have prescription medication. This is my only means of being able to live. I am wheelchair bound without this. I do not want to go back to that. There are many other collectives in Palm Springs. Some are hoping to get a fourth license from the city. So I urge you guys to please relook at this ordinance and uh, giving them the permit for that they need before you go ahead with it. Some council members say these rules are needed for people's safety. Public is under the perception that storefront cooperatives or dispensaries are those that are licensed by the city, when in fact the vast majority of them are not. I think this represents a risk to the patient. The council unanimously approved the stiffer fines for violations and signage enforcement. Angela Monroe, KMIR 6 News. This ordinance requires collectives to post that they are permitted while also allowing the city to post signs on property if a collective does not have a permit. Removing that sign would be a crime.